Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 6.5 from Sadiku book. So the question is the voltage across a 4 microfarad capacitor is shown in figure 6.45. Find the current waveform. Okay, so we are given that the capacitance is 4 microfarad. Okay, so let's give it a go. So we'll have 4 microfarad and that will be 4 multiplied by 10 to the minus 6 farad yeah and we are given the voltage waveform okay and this voltage waveform i think we can rewrite it as piecewise function right so what is vt vt is equal to we have three cases right between 0 until 2 and then between 2 until 6 and then between 6 until 8 so we will have 0 is less than equal to t until 2 and then 2 is less than equal t until 6 okay and then we will have 6 less than equal t less than 8 Okay, now we have this function here and I think we need to recall the linear function here. So here we have 0.0. .0. Maybe let's write that to make things easier. And then we will have 2,10. Okay, and then this one will be 6, minus 10. And this will be 8,0. Okay. And let's see the first one here. Okay. Uh, we know that the slope, the slope is M, is delta Y divided by, I mean... That should be delta V, but yeah, you know the deal, right? I use the X, Y axis. So delta Y divided by delta X. The Y is 10 minus 0. So we'll have 10 minus 0. And then we will have 2 minus 0. 2 minus 0. So we'll have 5. Okay. And so we will have, remember that y is mx plus c, right? Our y is p, so we'll have p. And then the slope is 5. And our x-axis is t, so 5t. And then plus some constant. Okay, and that plus 0.0. .0 so we will have... 0 is equal to 0 plus C. So we will have C is equal to 0. Or here we will have V is equal to 5T for this part here. Okay. So we will have 5T for this part. Okay. And maybe let's erase this and redo for the next one. So now let's do this part here. Okay. And we can calculate the slope again. So M is equal to delta Y divided by delta X. So now we will have 10 minus minus 10. So we'll have 10 minus minus 10. And then divided by 2 minus 6 so we'll have 2 minus 6 so we'll have 20 here and then divided by minus 4 so we'll have minus 5 here and again we can plug in the y is equal to mx plus c uh, y is v and then the slope is minus 5 and then the x is t and then some constant okay so now we can plug in 2 and 10. If our t is 2, that will be 10. So I will have 10 is equal to minus 5 
multiplied by 2 plus some constant. So we'll have 10 is equal to minus 10 plus C or our C is 20. So we will have our equation here is equal to minus 5T plus 20. Okay, that's good. So we will have minus 5T plus 20 for the second case. Okay, that will be the second one. And now let's move on to the last case. Here maybe let's just use screen highlight and we can just repeat the same game. So our slope that will be delta y divided by delta x delta y is 0 minus minus 10 and then delta x is 8 minus 6 so we'll have 8 minus 6 that will be 10 divided by 2 that should be 5 okay again we know that y is equal to mx plus c our y is the voltage the slope is 5 our x axis is t and then plus some constant and we can plug in 8 comma 0 that will be our t is 0 when the t is 8 so i will have 5 8 plus some constant so our constant that will be 40 plus c our c is minus 40 good we will have V is equal to 5t minus 40. So we will have this one 5t minus 40. But this is just the first step which is translating this graph into uh, linear functions. Okay, we need to find out the it. Okay, remember what is it? it is c multiplied by dv over dt the derivative of this function okay now we can uh, rewrite it so it is okay c c is for microfarad so we'll have four multiplied by 10 to the minus 6 and then multiplied by the derivative of this one which is 5 so we'll have 5 here so we will have this one 0 is equal to t and 2 okay we will simplify that letter but then we just repeat uh, the same game so i'll have 4 multiplied by 10 to the minus 6 multiplied by minus 5 this will be between 2 and 6 okay and then we will have 4 multiplied by 10 to the minus 6 the c and then multiplied by the derivative of this function which is 5 that will be 4 6 is equal to t is equal to 8 Okay, now we can simplify this. So, it is equal to 20. This will be micro, right? Microampere. And then, this is for 0 less than t less than 2. And then, we will have minus 20 microampere. This will be 2 less than t and then less than 6 and then 20 microampere for 6 less than t until 8 okay now what we need to do is just draw the graph okay let's draw the graph here between 0 and 2 that will be to my 20 microampere and then we will have minus for minus 20 microampere and then we will get back there 
here and it will get back to zero this will be zero before that also okay now let's just label that this will be our t which is in microsecond and then this is the i t which is in microampere and this will be 20 and then this will be minus 20 and the change will be at 2 and then at at 6 yeah i think at 6 this will be 6 and after 8 that will be back to 0 and i think that's all this is the answer for this problem hopefully this will help you to solve this problem See you in the next video. Bye-bye.